Welcome back to X Learns continuing coverage of endurance car racing. This is race number two in this tour. Looks like we might be bringing you some demolition action here at the conclusion of our series here. We're on the second race of this tour. Yeah, so listening to the uh, the grid auto spot uh, analysts, uh, expert analysts who have never been out the race course. Pretty much, if you've noticed, that every race course we go to here, this the analyst says he's never been here, and he makes assessments of what's going to happen, so I'm pretty much going to do the same thing. I've never raced this race course, but I'm assuming we're going to see a damn day race. Alrighty then, here we go. Green flag racing. Endurance car racing. This is a long event, so you do not want to see yourself taken out at the start. But look at them. Racing really densely and tightly here for that top position. Wait, lots of contact here. Boy, indeed, lots of contact. Looks like maybe our points leader might have had some problems. DNA bomb. Oh my word, that's a very unfortunate situation for him, being spun out, so that's certainly going to open up this championship battle. But he does have enough time to rally back up here. Fireworks in this race course too, it seems like all these night races have lots of fireworks. They also have lots of contact, as we've seen lots of that. We're trying to light things up with a penalty. This is our onboard car. I didn't care about getting spun out, so I'm catching up. Oh, looks like more problems for DNA Bond. It looks like we got disqualification. Uh, I'm not even sure what you could have to do to get this qualification, but this has to be some type of colossal blunder on the part of that team. You can bet that the crew and the entire team is going to be dealing with whoever was responsible for that. Yeah, quite severely. Boy, just enjoying the sights and sounds of this race course. Fireworks all over the track. Looks like there's some fireworks in the back of the pack here for our point leader. Who's certainly seeing his struggles here today. As I believe for him, this race cannot be over soon enough. It's been quite disastrous out here for him. Contact there was an onboard car. Boy, great pictures here being provided. This is certainly a lovely venue to have a race. Yes, uh, I'm not really sure what exactly the socioeconomic structure of this country is that this race is counting in, because lots of times when these race courses are built, it seems like there's very little regard put into that. Like, in F1 there, the cutter track. Certainly not an 
areas of the world where many people are thriving, except for a certain few, but it seems as though they have a race course there, which those that can afford to watch, watch. It seems to be an issue with sports in general, with some of these venues occurring in areas. Well, it looks like the points leader here is having a rally. We're having a discussion about all sorts of different things here, watching the racing, but the, the points leader is certainly giving us something else to talk about that here as he's navigated his way back up here into some type of contention, doing quite a remarkable rally. Boy, look at that. Right there, Onward Car showing us some very tight racing going on. Hitting signs on the race course. And now they're about to be moving into position. On the outside, this is going to be a very difficult pass, and they make it happen. But now they're off course, slicing and dicing. Now they're going to overtake and take that spot. Boy, there's a lot of racing going on back here in this group here. Our onboard camera's getting ready to get overtaken again. Oh, and now they're wrecking. Of course. Looks like the DNA bomb in our onboard camera has gotten into it again. We've seen that happen on several occasions in various different races. Although I think at this point our onboard camera is just trying to survive. Boy, we have seen contact. We really haven't seen temper certainly flaring like we've seen in some of the other races. As we, we've seen a Formula C race, which was very uh, contentious. Looks like we have a new winner here. DNA Bomb trying to rally back. Looks like Lieutenant Dan was the one that was disqualified there. Should be interesting to see what's going to happen with our championship battle as it continues going forward for XL in the speed zone. And Dick Cross, this has been Ken Jones. Click subscribe for more videos.